Good morning. Oh, the plates are riveted on. Yeah, yeah. Both sides. Oh, it's all fitted, isn't it? It's complete. Yeah. Why do you put two bolts in there? Uh, that's how it is. The this is a support for electrics. Oh, yeah. for the and the belt feeds here, yeah. and that's just how it was. Oh. You know, we can't alter them because. Yeah. I mean, the, the loop, the main thing is corroded, but... Is it? it will it be, be all right? It should be all right, yeah. Will it be OK, um, you know, to fly, cut in? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the, it's, uh, it's just... Yeah, hey, that's good. What's the other side look like? Oh, not as pretty, I don't think. You've got your nuts and bolts and things. You can see there the, the pre-mod slots. Yeah. When it had the four 303s yeah. belts, there was two belts down each. Now there's just the 150 cal. Yeah. So they needed a slightly smaller. Yeah. And that, that plate was put on. Yeah. Why did they go for bolts on that? I, I'm not sure. We believe it because it was a mod. And a modification, it was probably quicker and simpler to yeah. use. Yeah, if it was bolts. out on the field or something yeah. like that. Yeah, in the also, airfield. also they, are, they are stronger. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a lot of uh, strengthening been added to this. Yeah. There's a lot of mods on top of mods. This is a mod for the glider tug. That's a mod yeah. for the ammunition. And it just goes on and on. Yeah. Oh. You've got the hoop riveted in? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now they're all, all the painted. Stuff. Yeah, all the stuff down there painted, look waiting yeah, to be. Yeah, I saw that the other day. Oh. Oh, of course, these weren't painted when I came last time. No, that's right, they've been painted up now. Yeah. So you've virtually got all the bits you've manufactured and... I think we have now, yeah. We've yeah. everything now. We've just got to somehow figure yeah. out where it goes. <laughs> that's where the, the photographs come in. Yeah. And did you try the old... Um, frame in first yes yeah the old frame was fitted great in no well i had to put the frame in the original frame yeah then do one half and then take the other half out and then All you right. have to you have to do that or she, yeah it just doesn't work you just can't bang it in and hopefully yeah. it's right you know um, you haven't got the sides riveted yet no completely. we need no. to we need to have the frame in place but have it flexible so that when we put the little catches on the on the stringer bits yeah. You can bring it to them and rivet it, and then we'll then we'll uh, tighten the gripper pins around the outside and rivet it, so we know it's in the right place. Do all that. We're just going to rivet the skins back together all the way around, yeah. so it's good and solid. And yeah. then then that goes in. These go underneath it. Strengthen as they go. The original. They go underneath that plate between the yeah. frame, and then. Uh, these things go up the outside, we start creeping around, yeah. and then these go in. Yeah. But once we've got that all finished, then we'll finish this yeah. off. I see you've got the doors closed. Yeah. I haven't seen those closed before. Yeah, there's a bit missing off the top, John, in there, the doors. I think there's some kind of top. Hey? There's a top over the doors, and there? It's missing. Yeah, there's a wooden top that goes up yeah. there. got yeah. broke because people are hanging on it. Ah. Oh. People were hanging on it. Oh. It's a break. It's quite, it's quite uh, simple, but we have, because we're doing things on the bench instead of having to do it on the aircraft, it, it, it is of a higher quality. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just as a matter of course. We need all the correct, the correct bolts and everything. The brand new. Yeah. Will you need to paint the bolt heads or will well, they? Well, it doesn't really matter. Maybe. I think they're going to leave them at the moment so that they can show people that it's been done, you know? Yeah. Yeah. See, now we'll put the plate on the inside. 
Yeah, so I said I got the plate, yeah. Well, that has to be fitted for it's fitted because it's um Will you rivet that or will you rivet it in when no. it's in place? No, I'll, I'll rivet it now because once it's fitted you can't get in to do it because there's only a little gap. Yeah. So these two plates are going to be fitted now. Yeah. You oh. won't ever use those plates for... No. Uh, no there, there's a pulley there, yeah. uh, something to do with a glider tug. Yeah. Just that kind of three knocks does it, does it? Does it what, sorry? Three taps does it? Well, it varies on the size of your reaction block, the size of your gun, it's a big gun that is. Yeah, and the quality and the size of the rivet as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you start, you start slowly and it, and it ends up doing that, if you do it fast, it does that. Mm -hmm. And you don't want that, you want a nice squidge. Yeah. So the way to do it is just, d -d 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 -d, you know, yeah. speed it through. So firm, firm, but... Um, yeah. yeah, you have to press that particular gun because it won't work until you compress it. Yeah. But these really big rivets here, you needed a big reaction box here. Yeah. That's your torch, is it? Yeah. I heard you say that the other day. <laughs> If you waste any rivets or you're not happy and drill them out, do you have to um, note it down? Yes, if, you, if you've got a packet of so many, and it's how many you use, whether you destroy them, drill them out, whatever, if you use 10 and you've only got eight left because you've ruined two, you still put 10 down because the stock is what yeah. you're signing for, the stock. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it has to work like that. Yeah. Well, on here, on here, uh, once you've got that uh, frame in, you'll be riveting the skins yeah. around the fuselage. Yeah. And then you'll start assembling the bulkhead. Yeah. And then steadily work onto the gun support. Yeah. Well, once, the, once this is in and everything forward of it, yeah. then we will do the back. Because yeah. that's then fixed, there's yeah. no movement at all. Yeah. You can't make any mistakes. Yeah. And then all we'll do then is attach all the original bits First. First, then we change one at a time. Yeah. So that we... Nothing to do, yeah. Yeah. You can't slam a load of new stuff on us. Yeah. You just not... You could be anywhere. What do you actually call this whole assembly? I know you've got the web and the two cords. Just inboard rib. Just an inboard rib, is it? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they call on the Lancaster, they call everything like weird... Yeah. Shapes like those. The angles that go along on a Lancaster, they're all booms, they call them booms. Yeah. I don't want to call them yeah. booms. You like, call them cords, what go along here? <coughs> yeah, on a modern yeah. aircraft, that's what they're called. Yeah. You know, like on the spa, when it's made up of the yeah. same thing, you have top and bottom cords. Cords, yeah. And they have, on the Lancaster, they have the web and two booms, one at the top, one at well, the right bottom. At the bottom yeah. yeah. They, just call, they just call them different names. But even when I was doing the uh, the uh, fins last year. Yeah. The, those thick angles along the along the, the thing they were called the booms as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just the way they used to call them, I think. Yeah. It's all down in the book as a boom. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>